Hello everyone. again. Welcome to today's video. So today we are going to be talking about the classic soda package on board the Royal Caribbean cruise ships. So let's get started. So for soda. Our, so for our four night five day cruise, we paid a total of eighty five dollars for the two of us for this classic soda package. So that includes a souvenir Four. cup and it includes unlimited refills across the ship. So you can get them refilled at the Coke Freestyle Machine, which are located in the Windjammer on Deck 4, or by Sorrento's Pizza, which is on Deck 5. Plus, you can get them filled at any bar slash lounge area, um, but they only have the... At the bar slash lounge areas, you only have Coke, Diet Coke, the stuff you would make with a drink. Right, so Coke, Diet Coke, Sprite, ginger ale, um, seltzer, anything like that. So this, they have different styles depending on where you pick it up. We picked ours up at the Lime and Coconut, which is on deck 11. And uh, this is, this is what shiny. ours looked like. And we saw people with different ones and we saw them at different styles at the different areas. Yeah. So, um, all literally, um, it really was a great price because we, sometimes we take them with us. Sometimes we wouldn't. But typically, if we didn't have them, we'd run back to our room because it wasn't, it, we never really were that far away to where it was this huge trek to go pick them up. Um, we would typically have them filled up before we'd go to um, a show or a presentation or um, an, an activity <laughs> or the art auction. And that way we just had something to drink. Um, one of the things that during normal time that a lot of the places will have is complimentary drinks, but because of the Rona, they aren't doing that right now. So we always made sure that we had our drink with us simply so we had something to drink and we weren't paying the high alcohol bill because we did not choose that package. Right. And I'm glad we didn't. Right. Um, so for this, I definitely will say if you have kids, it's going to be one of your best options um, because... From what some of the other people were saying, like the specialty coffees in the coffee shop, they didn't taste that great. They was always really, really bitter. Um, but the Coke Freestyle machines, if, if you've been to Wendy's or McDonald's or in, uh, Burger King that have them, you know exactly what's in it. It's got sparkling water. It's got Powerade. It's got Coke. You can add cherry vanilla, lemon lime, whatever, whatever kind of soda you want that's in the Freestyle machine. They have it. Um, now, they may not have as many flavors. Like, for example, we typically, I get the Dasani sparkling water in the pink lemonade when I'm here at Wendy's. They didn't have that. They had um, unflavored and lemon lime. And so they may not have as many choices, but they will have several under each one. It didn't seem like under the regular sodas, though, it, uh, the options were about normal of what you could find anywhere else. Right. It was just under the sparkling water. It was and like a few of the other things like that, that there wasn't as many options. Right. Like the Powerade only had three options. They had lemon, lime, orange, and grape. Um, and that may have been on our particular saline. They may not just not have had all of the canisters to do it with. So this is, um, without ice, this will hold 16 ounces. So it's a fairly decent amount. No, it's not. It's 32. Sorry. <laughs> I was like, wait a minute. With ice, it'll hold 16 ounces. I'm sorry. How does only hold 16 ounces? <laughs> because I'm bringing How dead. am I supposed to put the rest of it? On your head. Um, okay. So, this is one. It's a, <laughs> it's a great. She told me to. It's a great souvenir. And I'll show you the inside of it. Because even the inside is decorated. It, you can see it's got the Royal Caribbean logo and, and the Coca-Cola Coca logo. And then mine is pink with the Royal Caribbean logo on it, and, and Sam green. has green. So if even if you're not planning to buy any souvenirs on the ship, maybe you're like, you know, I've been on so many cruises, I don't need another keychain or shot glass or t-shirt or tote bag. Here's a souvenir. But here's a souvenir. It's something that you can use, you know, maybe you can take and leave it at work. Maybe you can leave it in a beach bag. Maybe you leave it in your car. And so... Definitely, I think if you split down the middle, it was about forty two fifty per person. And then, so since we didn't use it on the last day, um, I'm dividing it by four. Um, so roughly it averaged out to about $10.65 a day. And if you figure, uh, if you go to a theme park. Are you spending four fifty? 
Right, you're at least spending four fifty five dollars per drink, not including uh, it's twenty dollars for I think twenty five or something for the refillable drink mugs at Disney. So definitely, it's worth its money to get the classic soda package. So that any other comments that you have on it? I don't think so. Okay. So overall, we one hundred percent recommend the classic soda package. So that's it for today's video. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you in the next.